hello. Welcome to Yoga for Love. So thank you so much for being here. If you want to go ahead and have a seat on your mat, we're going to begin with our practice today. Just moving through a nice, beautiful, slow flow. And we're going to start with our breath. So go ahead and find a mat. You might have two blocks near you if you use blocks for your practice. You might grab a bolster or a prop in case you'd like to use that to help enhance your practice and ease your hips a little bit. So we're going to go, go, we're going to go ahead and get started. So find a seat on your mat, on your prop, and begin with your natural breath. So you can find your ankles crossed underneath you. You can also come into half lotus with one of your ankles over your femur, if you'd like that. If that feels good for your hips, if that's too much, you can also come into just Siddhasana and have the ankles separated. If your knees sit high, grab two blocks or two blankets. And you can tuck them under the outer edges of your legs. Turn our palms open onto our lap. Close down the eyes. Begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more nice, long, deep, full breath, and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> We're gonna do that two more times, into the nose, out the mouth. <sighs> With a ha, big breath in. <sighs> Bring our hands to our heart. Take a moment to set our intention for our practice today. Go ahead and move out any props. And we're going to come into cat and cow breathing. So fingertips are going to be wide, knees below the hips. Hands beneath the shoulders, and we're going to relax the low back into a natural curve. We're going to inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the heart, open the chest, and look up into cow. And then exhale with a hop. Ha. And then just roll the shoulders side to side. Roll the hips side to side. Keep your exhale. And then on the next inhale, scoop into cow. On the exhale with a ha, and then just roll the shoulder side to side. Ha. One more time, inhaling into cow. And exhale. Ha. To reach our hands forward, we're going to move into downward facing dog. So tucking the toes, don't go there yet. We're going to push back onto the heels. Spread out the fingers. And even if you've been in down dog 200 times, I'd like you to follow my cueing today. Take and spread out your pinky toe. So all your toes are touching the mat and the ball of your foot is engaged in the mat. Spread out your fingers and create a little space underneath your palm, kind of like a starfish. We're gonna let the head drop down and bring the knees right underneath the chest. Let the head relax between the arms. It may touch the ground, it may not, but just make sure your head's totally relaxed. The arms are straight and the elbows are off the ground. And as we inhale, we're going to begin to press the chest toward the thighs and straighten the legs. Coming into downward facing dog, and then we're gonna exhale into turbo dog, lowering the knees. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, turbo dog. Inhale to downward facing without locking out the knees. Make sure your head is just relaxed between your arms. Your gaze is between your toes. Exhale down. Inhale up. 
You can come down just a little bit, or you can come down a lot. What I want you to do is make sure you're keeping the direct line of energy from your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, your ribs, and then your tailbone. So I do not want you coming here, and then here, tabletop, down dog, tabletop. You see how much movement that creates in our shoulders? We're trying to strengthen the shoulder girdle. We're not getting into the range of motion in the shoulders, we're strengthening. So come back into all fours. After you finish your few cycles in your turbo dog, we're gonna come back to cat and cow for three breaths. Inhale on the cow. Exhale on the cat. <sighs> With the breath. Inhale from the nose, out from the mouth. <sighs> and come back into center. Let's move into a spinal stability. So we're taking right hand forward, left heel back, press through the heel, maybe lift, and reach here. A nice long reach. Four, three. Julie, your sound came on, so let me mute you. So if you want to make sure you're muting. I just wanted you to know I can't hear you, so I'm going to stop the video so that you can't see me running to the video to see the screen so okay, that I can fine. see what you're doing. Go ahead and so I'm going to mute okay. now. So we're going to come back into our other side. And so this time, switching and reaching. Hold in here. And bring it back down. We'll switch again. And this time, bring your heel to the sky. We're going to pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach back and grab your foot. If you can't grab your foot, you can stay here. If you can, you're going to come into Tigris and kick. Opening the chest. Opening the hip. And come back. Final balance, bring it down. Inhale into cow, exhale into cat. Come into center and switching sides. Left hand forward, right heel back. Extend and reach. Breathe here. Gaze is forward, so you're not looking up and your heel's not up like this. You're not in a back bend, you're in a long line. Now flex the knee, flex your foot towards the sky and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach back, grab the foot, and kick. Now we come back to center. Gaze is right in front of your mat. Bring it down. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Let's come back into an active child's pose. Tuck the toes. Press back. Make sure your hands, your knees, and your feet are all in the same width, about shoulder width. Head is relaxed. And again, five breaths into your turbo dog. Pressing your chest towards your thighs. Use your core strength, so don't come up in the tabletop, but use your core. Keep this line of prana from your wrist to your tailbone as you inhale up as best as you can. Now we're gonna exhale, just lower a little bit and inhale up. With the exhale, you can lower a lot more and inhale up. One more. And we're gonna walk hands and feet together and find our forward fold, grab opposite elbows. Bring your feet to about shoulder width and let your head drop out. Shake it up. Gently rock. Side to side. Spread out the toes. 
Bend your knees. Reverse swan dive. Big breath in. Exhale, hands come to our heart. Come to the top of our mat. Feet together. Starting posture. Reaching up. Finding a nice, nice strong, upreaching Tadasana, Uttita Hastasana in our mountain pose. Find your focal point. We'll step our left foot back. Leave the heel off the ground so you're coming into a crescent lunge. Holding here. Take elbows wide and open the chest. Go ahead and wrap left arm. Grab your armpit and turn toward the camera here. Lift your elbow high. Right arm, we're going to grab the shoulder. Lift the elbows. We're coming into eagle arms. Backs the hands can come together here, or you can keep wrapping the shoulders. You can bring back the hands together. Shift your gaze so you can look out to the side of your arm and wrap the fingers. Spread out the fingers toward the sky. Now, if you want to deepen a little bit more in your eagle arms, we're going to sink down nice and low. We're going to inhale, bring our forearms up toward the sky. Three breaths. Breath in. Gaze forward, unwrap. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to our heart. Step front. Find your mountain pose. Explore with the breath, reaching up. Exhaling out. Inhaling up. Exhaling, hands come to the heart. Go ahead and bring your feet together. Come back to the top of your mat. Find your focal point. Deep breath in and out. Use your ujjayi breathing. Inhale, feet are shoulder width. Utita Hastasana, far reaching mountain pose. Exhale, ground down to the feet. Breath in, crown of the head reaches to the sky, but make sure the space between your shoulders and your ears stays relaxed. And step your right foot into a deep lunge. Left foot can heel toe slightly to the left side of your mat to find a little bit more space from front to back so your feet are not in front of each other like on a balance beam but more like on railroad tracks. And then here again, we're taking eagle arms. This time left arm goes over, right arm goes under. So in your eagle arms, you can stay here with the shoulders wrapped. You can bring backs of the hands together and again shift so you can find a focal point if you wrap your fingers. Now a lot of times our, our elbows drop. So you wanna get into the heart center and open by lifting up. Breathe here. Now if you wanna deepen again, Coming in and leaning back into your back bend. Bring your forearms to the sky, three breaths. Big inhale. Gaze forward, exhale, release the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, step front. Mountain pose. Flow with your breath. Exhaling it out. Reach all the way up and swan dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands come to our heart. We're going to bring the feet together. Bring the arms up and wide. And from here, we're going to wrap right arm under, left arm over. Coming back into eagle arms. This time we're going to come into Garudasana. Lift the elbows. You can stay here, especially if you're nurturing your shoulders. If you want to deepen, backs of the hands come together and shift so you can gaze out in front of you. Big breath in, spread out the fingers. Lift the elbows high to open the space between the traps and then spend the slide down into your chair. 
Now from here, since the right arm's under, we're gonna bring the left heel up and step the left foot over. Touch your toes down. Stay in your chair stance. Push your calves together. Stay here. Or lift up your toes. Push your pinky toe in. Bring everything into center. Anything that's extraneous, that any kind of energy that's been wandering out there, bring it back to your center, your own energy. You can wrap your toes here. Breathe. Now listen up. We're gonna unwrap the leg. Stay on your right foot. Take your left foot back and come into warrior three. I'm gonna turn here so you can see what that looks like. Bring your gaze forward, flex your back heel, dorsiflexion, and push your arms forward and counterbalance. Deep breath in. Now if you touch down, just bring the foot down and back up. You can do that, that's totally fine. Sweep the arms back into airplane. Point the toes, spread out the toes, spread out the fingers. And step to mountain. Ha. Breath in, out with a ha. Ha. Two more, inhale, out with a ha, moving with the arms. Ha. Inhaling up. Exhale, hands come to our heart, feet together. Back to our samastitihi, steady and strong starting posture. One more breath here. Anjali Mudra, activate the arms. Let's reach out to the side, finding our eagle wings. Find your focal point, eye level, straight ahead. This time, left arm comes under, grab the armpit. Right arm comes over, grab the shoulder. Lift the elbows, sink down into your chair. Hands can come back to back here. Lift the elbows, you can wrap the fingers. Coming into Garanasana, pick up your right heel. Step it up and over and squeeze the knees and the calves and the elbows together, bringing all of your energy back to your center. Ujjayi breath. Option to wrap the toes, letting your toes peek out on the other side of your calf. Make sure your arms aren't dropping, fingers are active. One more Ujjayi breath here. Now here we're gonna again unwrap, stay on balance on your left foot. Kick back, lean forward, gaze comes down to the ground, dorsiflexion for the back foot. So if you need to touch down and come back in, that's fine. Expand from your heel to your fingertips. Coming into your warrior three. Sweep into airplane, point the toes, spread out the fingers, open the heart. Airplane pose to mountain pose. And three ha breaths flowing with the arms. Inhale. Ha. Inhale. Ha. Big inhale up. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back of your body. Interlock the fingers. If you can, press your palms together. If you can, flip your palms and open the shoulders even more. Bring your feet to shoulder width. Dasana stance. And then we're gonna fold forward with the chest expansion. Deep exhale all the way down. Let your head drop out. Tiny lift. And then fold again. Shake the head out. Slowly release your arms with gentleness, coming into ragdoll. And then just gently rock from side to side. Touch the ground, sink the hips down and look forward into monkey pose. You can use your blocks here if you'd like to. We're gonna move into something really fun. So if you do have blocks next to you, I invite you to use them and push down into your blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can take your fists and wrap your thumb on the outside in front of your fingers. 
and push down with your fist. We're going to come into Tolasana. So it's kind of like you're dangling. It's really good for your core strengthening. So pushing down and then begin to crisscross the ankles. Slow here, come back, switch to coming back. Monkey pose, just looking forward. And then coming back into your Tolasana. Crisscross the other way. I'm just kind of float through. So you're just kind of dangling here. And come back. Come into goddess pose. Hands to our heart or to our third eye. Bring your heels out, toes in. Take a few breaths here. This would be a great time to work on your crow if you're working on Velasana. So, excuse me, Vakasana. So, from crow, you're using your blocks. Press your blocks flat side down and bring your heels onto your blocks. Hands come into our heart. So, this acts kind of like a little prop, a little roost if you will, for your crow. We're gonna breathe in, keep your elbow, the back of your tricep and your knee touching. So that lock stays there, or you can bring your elbow and your inside of your tricep on the inside of your knee and stay there. So some people practice crow with the knee right on the back side of the humerus, which is what I do. And if you're moving into a crane practice and moving into straightening the arms more, you need to really get the knees up into the armpit, all the way at the very top of the humerus. If that doesn't work for you, just start here. We're gonna inhale. On our exhale, we're gonna use Uddiyana Bandha, exhaling in and up, squeezing out the breath. So inhale, exhale, Uddiyana Bandha. As you exhale, lean forward. Now we're going to come back, inhale. Keep that attachment between your knee and your tricep at all times. Exhale, lean forward. Touch the ground. Inhale, coming back. Now if the ground is not accessible for you as you reach forward, you can place a prop, a couple blankets here. And I recommend whenever you're practicing crow for the first few times, first few months really, Make yourself a little crash pad. Now this time we're gonna come up onto our blocks and use our blocks like a perch. Imagine a little bird taking his little feet and curling them around the branch. So that's what we're doing with our crow. If you have foam blocks, this doesn't work as well. These are bamboo, cork blocks work really good for this. Um, but if your blocks give a lot, just be super careful. Um, that you're not falling forward and sliding off of your blocks. So again, Ujjayi breath, in and out through the nose. Use your root lock and then your upper abdominal lock. This is here, you can spread these out in case you fall. They're gonna be there for you. Breathe in, exhale, lean forward and come on the tippy toe. Now bring your gaze forward. Because if you're looking down, you can see my energy is gonna drop me down. So you wanna keep floating and flying. The key is your breath, okay ladies? So we're gonna inhale. As you exhale, push in and up. Feel the diaphragm moving in and up, and that's what's gonna lift your feet. It might not be this week. It might not be this month. It might not be this summer. Don't worry about it. Just use your prep and do the work. So breathing in, exhaling out. You might begin to lift one toe. Inhaling back, exhaling forward, and you lift the other foot. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. You can alternate prepping. You can maybe come into your full crow. I like to point my toes because it gives me more lift. Holding and breathing. Wherever you're at, you can continue to flow. And then whenever you're ready, come back down. Back to where we began, blocks underneath the heels. Great, nice work, nice work. Coming up.
coming back into low goddess with or without your blocks. Move your props out. And then exhale, come into a kneeling plank. Stepping back. Breath in. Breath out. We're going to lower down. Heart center first. Bend the belly, then the chin. Flatten your body out. And come into crocodile. Rest on your chin or your forehead, keeping the neck in neutral. And turn the toes out and widen the feet. And dorsiflexion, so you're on the outside edges of your toes. Palms are up. Let your shoulders relax. Deep breath here. And let's press back into child's pose. You can use your prop if you have it handy and tuck a blanket behind the backs of the knees to give yourself a little more support. Knees are wide, toes to touch in a relaxed child's pose. You can take your hands and stack your fists, rest your head there, elbows wide. You can also take prayer hands, let your head drop down and bring your head into prayer at the back of your heart. We're going to stay in our child's pose for our Shavasana. So I invite you to stay here as long as you'd like. Thank you so much for your practice today. Breathing here in and out through the nose. Allow yourself to soften and relax. Just letting go. And breathe. Travel to a beautiful, tranquil place in nature. Feel free to stay in child's pose or to make your way into corpse pose to close our practice together. Namaste.